Well, hello and welcome to DIY Design by CCW and thank you so much for clicking on my video. First of all, Happy New Year to everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a DIY for you and uh, I've got a thrifted vase and a Dollar Tree vase that I'm going to make over. Also, I have these macrame rings. I have an acrylic disc. Now, I've used one of these on my channel before, but this one is a little bit thicker and we'll see how this turns out. Now, I'm going to be working with some crystals uh, and I've got all sorts of other things such as uh, this closed chain wrap and of course I'll be doing some painting. Now today's color is a folk art paint. It's a multi-surface paint. I'll make sure to link the paint down in my description box as well. Uh, you can purchase it right from the video uh, by clicking the purchase link on the video. And uh, before I get do anything, the first thing I'm going to do is go off camera and clean my glass with alcohol. Now for today's video, I'm not going to be doing a lot of painting. Basically, I'm just going to accent the bottoms uh, of these pieces with the paint. And I will also accent the rim of the uh, glass once I do the treatment that I'm going to do today. Now, if this is your first time watching uh, this video or if you're new to painting glass, step one, make sure you clean the glass thoroughly with alcohol. Step two, when you're painting, just take your time. Uh, make sure the brush stroke are nice and even. Uh, try to go in the same direction as much as possible and expect to do maybe two to three coats to get the look that you want. And make sure you don't overload the paint um, when you're putting on, you know, each layer. Now, the first thing I want to do is, uh, as you can see, I just removed the film from the acrylic disc. And then I'm going to glue on the one of the macrame rings. Now these rings are really inexpensive. You can buy them anywhere. Um, they sell them at some Dollar Trees. Uh, I typically buy mine at Michael's. Again, they only cost a buck or two a piece. Very inexpensive. Now these rings are 12 inch and of course uh, the disc is a 12 inch disc. Now. Uh, before I proceed to the next part of creating this tray, I'm going to go ahead and glue on um, my legs. Now these are just crystal knobs that you can buy. Um, I do sell them in my Amazon shop, but you can also find them at Home Goods, um, pretty much anywhere that they sell knobs, because that's all these are. These are just dresser knobs, and uh, I like to repurpose them and use them for legs, for my decorative trays and uh, you'll see that I also use them for making lids as well. Now I'm just mixing the glue. Now the glue that I'm using here is E6000 Quick Hold and uh, I like to mix it with a little bit of the regular E6000 as well just to make sure that I get a fast hold as well as a strong hold. Um, now once these uh, legs are glued on we'll move on to to the next part of the DIY. All right, so the next step in building the tray uh, is to remove the film from the other side, and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna glue another macrame ring to the top side of the tray. Then once that's done and the glue is set, I'll come back and we'll start uh, building the tray by adding some of the crystal pieces. All right, so for the crystal pieces, basically uh, all you want to do, or all I'm going to do here rather, um, is just glue them on. Now there's a lot of methods that you can use for this. Um, you certainly could do this with hot glue. I typically will use my E6000 and I'll mix again the E6000 quick hold with the, the uh, regular E6000. That way I get a strong hold and also a quick hold. Um, I used to and I have tried doing these with hot glue. However, the hot glue breaks down, it doesn't hold, and I do like to use these trays. Now, uh, sometimes I make these for gifts, sometimes I use them, 
Um, a lot of times I will do uh, tablescapes with them, which you would see on one of my other channels, which is Tablescapes by Candy. But anyway, I do put them to use. I do want them to be durable. And I have found that by gluing them, uh, the trays, you know, last a lot longer and they're a lot more stable. So it, and again, I could use just the E6000 quick hold, which will give me a quick hold, but over time it could break down. But by mixing the glues, uh, I find that that doesn't happen and my tray lasts. So here you just want to be careful uh, to add the glue exactly where you want it. And then as you can see, I'm using some little clips uh, to hold the, the uh, crystals in place. And, uh, you know, this can take a little bit of time. Again, what you want to do is hold it in place for a minute or two or a second or two until it starts to set. And then you want to go ahead and place the clamp uh, to make sure that it doesn't fall or lean. And um, that's pretty much it. So I'll let you watch me do this process. Now, for this, I'm working with crystals that come from... Uh, Joanne Fabrics, they had these on sale. Uh, typically, these crystals cost about three bucks a piece, anywhere from two to three dollars a piece. But they had them on clearance, they were half off, and then I had a coupon, so I bought them, put them in my stash, which is typically how uh, I'm able to do or how I do any most of my DIYs. So, again, here's another view or just a close up view of what I'm doing. Also, the crystals I'm working with are two different sizes since they were on clearance I could only get four of the wider crystals and then the other uh, crystals are they're the same height but they're just not the same width they're a little bit more narrow but I do have eight all together and to make sure that the tray looks even uh, basically as you can see I'm just working going uh, you know, I do one one side, then go directly across and do the other side, and just keep doing that until the tray is full. So, all right, guys, I'll let you watch me do this, and then I'll come back when we get to the next part of the DIY.
All right now, so uh, now that I have uh, got the crystals set, and they're actually still drying, so you see that I still have the clamps on, but they're, they're at least to a point where I can go to the next step. Now, what I'm going to do is add the third macrame ring to the tops of the crystals. So again, I'm just using a little dab of glue on the top of each, still working with the same glue mixture of the E6000 Quick Hold and the regular E6000. Now, this takes a little bit of patience, uh, especially because the tips of the crystals are so narrow, but what you wanna do is just balance them on and uh, I like to do this when the crystals are not completely set that way if something needs to be moved or you know if it's a little bit off I can still move it a little bit um, and then basically I'm gonna hold it in place for a minute or two until that quick hold glue begins to grab it and then I'll just sit it aside let the ring and all the let all the glue dry and uh, then we'll move on to the next part of the DIY. All right, so now while the tray is, uh, or the glue is setting for the tray, I'm gonna go ahead and start finishing up the uh, pieces that will sit on top of my tray, or that will go with the tray. Um, now, instead of painting these pieces, which is what you're typically gonna see when you tune into my channel, again, all I did was paint the bottoms and uh, I'm going to use this, um, this uh, crystal trim. It's actually not a trim, it's more of a hot fix uh, sheet. And I'm gonna glue it on and uh, you know, it's a little easier than doing glitter. It takes a little less time than doing paint. And I think it's really pretty. Now, camera doesn't really do it justice, but if you love glam and you love, you know, shiny things, this hot fix uh, fabric trim is, is, or fabric rather, is really something you're going to like to work with. Um, now, this particular trim or fabric, I keep saying trim, comes from Joanne Fabrics. Um, you can also purchase this in my Amazon shop and I'll make sure to leave a link down in the Amazon shop or rather down in my description box. Also, uh, I'll make sure to uh, leave the purchase link so that you can just go straight to the link, you know, right as you come into the video or as you exit the video. So here basically really quick easy i'm basically just cutting it down to size now initially when i painted this piece i was going to leave a little bit of the bottom showing or around the edges and i decided to take the trim all the way to the bottom but i do still like that the bottom of the the piece is painted that way if you turn it over or if you sit it on top of a mirror it still looks professional um, now these pieces only come in a certain length and uh, so it takes two to cover this particular uh, container um, but as you can see that's what I'm doing and just lining it up trimming it and that's it once it's glued on I can set this piece aside now I also go ahead and add uh, a little bit of embellishment and um, once I do that the piece will be done All right, for the, uh, before I get to the smaller piece, uh, I think I mentioned earlier when I was painting the bottom that I would also use a little paint around the rim. That way when the lid is lifted, uh, you'd be able to see, you know, the, the uh, silver edge. It would just make the piece look a little bit more professional. Again, definitely not. Uh, you know necessary absolutely because the lid the rim will be covered with a lid but something I wanted to do now here I'm adding a brooch uh, to 
add just a little bit of accent to the piece and uh, then I'm going to move on and do the little Dollar Tree cylinder. Now the shape of this cylinder is a little bit different so basically and it's obviously smaller so I was able to take one of the sheets and just cut it in half and uh, make it fit the cylinder the way or the container the way I want it. Um, also uh, once I get it trimmed um, I'll glue it on exactly the way I did the other piece. Now what's nice about this is I get tired of looking at this I can take this this off you know if I want to and I can repurpose this fabric and use it on a, in another DIY but um, you know for now I think I like the way it looks on these two pieces and I think I'll use this set maybe somewhere you know something that uh, you can use for little trinkets you can use it in your restroom you can use it on your uh, dresser if you follow this channel then um, you would know this but if you're new I do love making storage pieces I do a lot of DIYs like that because I really like my DIYs to have a purpose and not just be you know just something that will sit around and, and not be used so again just gluing it on now you'll notice that I'm only using the E6000 quick hole glue that way if I ever decide I want to remove this fabric trim I can do that also because of the shape of this piece uh, I am using just a little bit of the painted edge exposed and then once I get everything on and get this on I'll do the same thing that I did to the other piece and I'll add a little bit of embellishment and then we'll be ready to move on to the next part of the DIY. All right, so now I'm going to finish the tray. Now that the uh, crystals and the rings uh, have dried and everything is set. Now, if I wanted to, I definitely could stop right now with this tray, with the crystals. And because the edge uh, of the acrylic uh, disc that I used is clear, I definitely could stop. And um, after watching this, I thought about it and I thought if I make this again, I'm going to see what it looks like or how it works if I don't add the extra embellishment. But if you follow this channel, then you know this already. If you're new here, I'll let you know I'm always a little bit team too much and I like to let add a little bit more bling to pretty much everything that I do. So uh, basically, I'm adding a rhinestone trim. Now this is one I've used quite a bit on my channel is absolutely my favorite it comes from Joanne Fabrics and I'll make sure to put uh, the name of it and a link down in my description box in case you decide you want to purchase this for yourself it's beautiful it's versatile now it comes a little wider I trimmed it down uh, so that it would be the right size to go right between uh, the two rings and cover up the edge. Now here I'm just gluing it on uh, with a little bit of the E6000 quick hold and then once I do that I'm going to add a little bit more embellishment to the tray. Now, um, something I'm now obviously again this is another place where I could definitely stop and uh, I'll make sure to link some other videos because I've made several of these trays on my channel at this point and I'll make sure to link them um, I'll matter of fact I'll link one right above uh, if you look up right now you'll see a link to one and I'll link a few down at the end of the video and uh, or at the end and hopefully you'll go watch one of those 
where basically I stopped at the gems and I didn't add anything extra. But for this one, I'm gonna add some brooches. Now these brooches are brooches that are kind of, they usually come in a connected um, brooch uh, with three in a in a connection and i've actually used these in other diys that i've taken apart or uh, decided to you know break a break take apart because i didn't use didn't want to use them anymore so i'm repurposing these and uh, it's not really costing me anything to add this extra bling to the tray but i wanted to see you know how it would look so what i'm going to do is at the bottom of each crystal i'm going to add one type of brooch and then at the top of each crystal, I'm gonna add a second type of brooch. Now, to get these to connect and to grab, you know, to stay on, I'm mixing the glue again, the E6000 regular and the quick hold. Now that quick hold gives you the quick grab because it's very, you know, where these crystals are sitting, or rather these brooches, it would be very difficult to prop them up uh, as you can see, I had a little bit of a, a struggle just trying to get the clip in the place that I needed to, to, to prop that, um, that brooch up. So what I'm basically doing, again, is using the E6000 quick hold and mixing it with the E6000 regular. And uh, that quick hold is going to make it so that I don't have to hold the brooch in place more than a few seconds before it sets enough that you know I can let go of it now I do have these clamps but honestly the way the clamps are made they just don't work you know they're they're almost the grip is almost a little bit too strong for what I need so it doesn't really work in this application but uh, basically I'm just taking my time going through gluing them on uh, one at a time and uh, once I get them glued on then I can move on and uh, this piece will be done. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of lids for my little storage containers. The first thing uh, for the smaller lid or the Dollar Tree container, I'm painting uh, this wooden disc. Now you can buy these discs from Walmart or uh, any craft store. Um, certainly from even from the Dollar Tree and they're really inexpensive but actually I think the cheapest place to get them would be Walmart uh, because you can get them you know I think there's like five in a pack and they maybe cost a buck something like that but anyway it's just the right size for the Dollar Tree container and uh, you'll notice that I didn't take the sticker off the bottom. The price sticker wasn't necessary because I'm actually going to be covering uh, both sides with a mirror. And typically, sometimes I will put the mirror only on one side. But in this case, I want the mirror on both sides of the lid. Uh, that way, when you lift the lid, uh, you'll see the mirror and it'll make the piece look a little bit more professional. Now, I glued on uh, my mirrors and uh, again, the disc is a little bit bigger than three inches and the mirrors are three inch mirrors. And now I'm just going to trim it out, uh, trim the, the uh, lid out with a little bit of closed chain wrap and uh, I'll glue that on with a little uh, E6000 quick hold and then I'll glue on my crystal knob and again this is a different shape uh, knob that I'll be using than the ones I used for the legs for the tray um, again but all of these knobs you can purchase them either in my Amazon shop or you can buy them at home goods they're really inexpensive uh, you can buy them on Amazon, really, uh, just about anywhere. Um, now, uh, for the larger 
uh, lid. I'm using five inch mirrors to fit the circumference of the container. And basically, since I didn't have a five inch wooden disc, I just used a five inch uh, acrylic disc uh, to sandwich in between the mirrors so that I would get the thickness that I want. And now I'm gluing the same um, trim around the edges of the mirror that I glued on the uh, large or the smaller lid. I'll glue on my uh, knob, take, you know, the same way, and that's it. These lids will be done. This is how the set turned out. This is the finished look. I like it, but let me know what you think. Now, this is a closer look at the decorative tray. Again, I like it as well, but uh, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. Now, there's a closer look at the storage containers or trinket containers. There's a little closer look at the detail on the decorative tray. Um, now, the containers you see in the back, they come from a different set. I'll make sure to link that video in the description box as well as the uh, at the end of the video. Uh, there's a little closer look at the detail on the containers. Now I did forget to lift the lids for you to show you that I did put mirrors on both sides this time um, because I typically don't do that. Um, but anyway, that's all I have for you today. I really hope you liked the video. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you'll decide to do that. Also, please visit my other channels if you will. Tablescapes by Candy and the Glam Decor channel. Thank you so much to all the channel members such as Kim, DMS, HJ, Shanta, Lori, and Sherry. And thank you so much for all the support you've given this channel in 2022 and I hope to bring you a lot more content in 2023. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day or night, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.